Ati. Hello everybody and welcome to Music Industry Insights Worldwide Volume 3. And today I have the amazing Lola with us. Hello Lola, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, Tuskit. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you so much for coming along today and agreeing to take part in Music Industry Insights Worldwide. It's such a pleasure to have you on the show. No, thank you for inviting me. It's my pleasure. Like, thank you very much. It's, it's really cool to be here. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and what you do. All right. So I'm Lola Pony and I'm um, I'm an art activist, performance art activist and com music composer. Yeah. And I just, you know, I just perform and make music to make you happy and make you dance. I love that. And whereabouts are you from, Lola? Tell us about oh, I'm from... I'm from uh, Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz, Mexico. So I'm from Mexico. And oh. I'm from the deep south, from a town called Coatzacoalcos, which is the same town as uh, Salma Hayek. <laughs> wow, that's a lovely place. I've been to Mexico myself, really, really nice people. So tell us about your music. What kind of music do you do and what do you make? So I just make like really like poppy sounds with obviously a little bit of Latin Latin stuff like reggaeton and um I also like trap but yeah. uh, basically um basically just just something like that makes the happy music sometimes I go to the other part you know I I explore but um basically like, like synth pop happy dancey uplifting positive vibes and does that represent you as a person and your kind of struggle and the stuff you've been through yeah no it does represent me because um you know obviously when when there is when there is happy when there is where there is like there is always something you know behind yeah. there where there is like there should be a little bit of a shadow yes. and um but that's what what makes me who I am because I don't want to stick in the darkness I want to be in the light yeah. and just be there and and share that light with everyone because I've been like this my whole life since I can remember like just like this like this uh happy person and just I don't know like I just like to be and um, shared with everyone I noticed that when we first met, you're always so kind, so friendly, always smiling. You're really nice to be around. You've got this very positive um, outlook on life and, and a good energy. I really like that about you. Yeah. yeah thank you, Bebe. Yeah, no, it's, 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 you know, like, I think when, when you go through, through stuff, you yeah. learn to be like that, you know, like you learn to be like, kind of like, like a protective thing is to just be happy and kind because, I, I I have a theory that the people that are the most kind and the most uh, happy uh, the happiest um, are the ones that have suffered the most because they know how tough it is and they you know like you don't want that anymore. So yeah, I just that's it. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. And we met at London Pride, didn't we? So tell the viewers a bit about your background and how you identify and some of the struggles that you've had to face personally as an artist in the industry. So. Tell the viewers a bit more about that. Of course. So um I, I've been I've been like 10 years performing and making music now, right? And mm. then in, in 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 that time, um I think misogyny and and grief is yeah. the they like, are the are the most the most horrible things that I've encountered because um um, I don't know, like it's just there, you know. And 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 I, I when I started, I got my my song stolen, and yeah. so that taught me that I have to choose very carefully with with who I surround myself, yeah. and, and and the team, and also just to register everything I I make and I create. And I think that's like that's that's the worst part, right? Luckily, I was. I was like raised and 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 by a, like a really my my parents have always supported me and they have always loved me and they have always encouraged me and empowered me. I'm really lucky and happy to be to be like you know like like part of of, of a family like like that that really just empowered me since I was born and and so that's what makes me always like 
like gives me this thrive to to say no to bad stuff and it gives me the power to just uh keep on yeah. and 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 reject everything that that it's unethical and I reject everything that goes against my values and reject everyone who who is it's is mean and 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 evil right so that's 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 how how it's done that's how i do it and and just that's what i've encountered but it just it just teaches you you know like just just taught me how to 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 go along and then and then everything changed right because then you can just then you just find people like you like my current friends and my current uh, collaborators that that are amazing people and and kind and happy you know so that's how how yeah you've got to protect yourself haven't you and I think that's yeah. one of the things that you're saying is you learn from some of your mistakes but again you have to protect yourself you have to look out for yourself you have to learn from some of these lessons and make sure they don't happen again exactly yeah most most importantly that's it like just learn from it and protect yourself and 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 always be kind always always be kind and happy yeah and treat people with the respect I think that's another thing isn't it you treat people I always treat people how I would like to be treated because that's just the yes. way I think the person and I think that's just how I treat everybody and I get that from you as well you know so yeah I definitely agree and I also think as well, when you talk about family and having family support, that that really makes a massive difference on your progress, how you can kind of get through your difficult times, knowing that you're not on your own and that you have that support is fantastic. Yeah, no, it makes the whole difference. Mm. Um Actually, I think it 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 is quite like that what makes the difference because um it just makes you who you are and 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 there is nothing nothing that can compare to to just being supported by your family and when you are like that then i think also well as i as i the way i see it is that i have the responsibility to to share that power and that 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 light with everyone so if with people that may maybe they don't have that but yeah. then you because that's why we do like like as uh, as lesbians gays and mm -hmm. um and trans people we all are supposed to like be a big family because some of some of our our community don't have that support being to make music or to whatever so uh we have to be ourselves that you know that we have to become that for for right. ourselves yeah, and for our community, right? And for our communities, because it's more than just us. We we look out for each other, Joe. Yeah. I think that's what you're saying is we kind of look out for each other and we try to support each other the best ways we can, which is really exactly awesome. exactly. And and obviously coming from Mexico and and obviously you said you started your music career like 10 years ago. Did you have a musical education or did you just decide to start playing music? Or have you always done that from a young age? Yeah, well, uh, when I was uh, in uh, elementary school, I in uh, five years old, uh, w where I went to school, they had a music class. Yeah. So, I, and my teachers, I started there, but my teachers and my parents decided to keep me like apart from the class because uh, they wanted me to develop my music instinct by myself and and not not to learn like actual music you know oh. not not to learn how to read it not to learn anything that i would just play like i would i i love i still love classical music but at five i would just like ask for classical music and 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 play it by ear on my wow. piano and then uh that's how it all started wow. uh but yeah but then, wow <laughs> that's impressive that's very it, it, it's like it's inside us. I I I made a, I made some research about how music is really just inside all of us. It's uh, biologically human. Yeah. We even cry in music intervals. Yeah. There is a research, yeah. It's, um, um, but um, the, uh, the, then I had some vocal jazz training because mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, I I was like in Berkeley college of music they were like like selected me and then I just like took it it's like wasn't like an intensive week program for like vocal yeah. jazz training and that's like basically the the most singing training because because when you sing I think you really need a little bit of training right and yeah. and that's how like how it happened for 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 me that's like the most the most musical 
uh, education that I had. Otherwise, it was just um, just just like inst instinct. Yeah, following your heart, just following your yeah, what you're supposed to do. Oh, I think that's your beautiful. Heart. Oh, inspirational. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. What kind of challenges and barriers have you faced working in music and entertainment, especially be as you identify and you come from a different country? What are some of the barriers and struggles that you faced with making your music? Well, um, I think at first was misogyny because I started with a band. I I yeah. I, I formed a band yeah. and, uh, and 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 but it was all men and me, right? So I would just like like constant struggle with these men that ended up stealing my songs and and it was just not a good experience but then um and then also uh, you know like like i don't think being a lesbian uh has been like an issue because i i always treated it like this is who i am and i never uh, give that any more importance than anything you know like yeah. than what it is it's like it's a part it's my sexuality so so it's like I didn't yeah. even like concern about it or like so that's you know like if I don't think it never like like that was something but definitely definitely just um uh being who I am like just like 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 this this person that just doesn't care about appearances I think sometimes people would try to like put their their you know their stuff in me but I never allowed it yeah. and um and yeah basically like that's that's the worst but I uh never let it just I just never let it get to me so having a skin and staying authentic is what I get from what you're saying is really is staying true to yourself and not letting other people have an impact on you too much it's just keep it moving yeah, it's important to always know who you are and just just be who you are and don't you know like like it doesn't matter what everyone everyone tells you and everyone wants you to be because you yeah. are who you are yeah. and and just spread the happiness. And how has that kind of impacted you as a person and your career? How would you say that that's made you feel? Has it slowed you down? Has it made you stronger? Has it made you more determined? What kind of things has it done for you? I think it made me stronger and uh, because it gives me this like for me it's that this thrive to just continue and just uh this power to to, to just um because I'm I mean I'm really happy but I I also like like when someone when someone uh tries to get to me or my friends I'm really you know like I get to like Ugh! and <laughs> that gives me some power to like just 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 a uh, stand up a stand yeah. up for everything that I believe in and and everything that is right in this world yeah. and that's how it impacted me because it just gives me it makes it gives you a power when when people try to 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 push you down yeah. and 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 then you just have to uh stick you know you have to stand up and and keep on so that's 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 what I do. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that as well. And obviously being from South America and, and coming here, do you find that there's a lot of representation, a lot of people that look like you that are in the main music industry? Do you think there's a lot of music like yours? Do you feel underrepresented or do you feel that we're okay with that at the moment? Yeah, no, definitely there is an underrepresentation for uh Latin Latin artists. Mm. And 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 even, you know, like in the big big in the big arena of music industry uh i don't think there is enough there are enough of us mm -hmm. and i remember once i had a conversation with 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 uh, uh this guy in music industry and he said oh there is a colombian superstar like you know shakira but yeah. there is no mexican superstar so maybe lola pony it is right and i was like hell yeah like yeah, I can be, yeah. I can be the Mexican superstar, Lola Pony. I could see. And, um, yeah, why, why yeah. not? You know, you, it's your dream. If you can only dream as big as you want it to be, and if you want to be that, no one's stopping you but you, right? And I think that's what we both know that you can, you can achieve whatever you want. I think you just got to be passionate, have that drive, and have that love, and that just that positivity. Because I think that's really what people want, isn't it? They want something that's going to make them happy. There's enough bad news out there already. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, of course. It's it's because yeah, there is enough enough bad and enough 
sadness and, and anger in this world. And I think uh, we need people, you know, like to if you have that platform to speak up, you just need to be happy and share the happiness. And because there is enough path, you know, you ha you need the good, the happy, the light, and just to be that for people, make people dance, make yeah. people happy. Because that's what we need. That's and that's how we change. Because everything is frequencies. And if we if we start like like uh, all of us collectively change our frequencies, we can change the world. I really believe that. Maybe some people tell me we're kind of like naive, but I don't think so. I think we just need to change our perspective into this world and 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 change the frequencies and change the world. I love that. Oh gosh, all of these things that you're coming out with. This has been a super podcast today. I'm so glad we've done this. Thank you again for coming along and sharing oh, some insights with us all. Thank you. Thank you for, for inviting me. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, it's a pleasure. So what would you like to see improve in the next couple of years, in the next two to three years? What would you like to see more of? What would you like to see change as a whole in the industry? So I think it is changing already. I think there are more uh, people, you know, like uh, in the uh, talk, talking about like the, the big audiences and the big platforms. Uh, mm. We have a change because now you have more inclusivity. Yeah, there is there is more inclusion. You have more uh, people talking about about the things that that are not right. People speaking up and and I don't know Beyonce with. Black Lives Matter, and then you have, uh, you know, I did some research when I when, for my master, and then, um, for example, you have, I mean, Taylor Swift did some other good stuff, Lady Gaga with the LGBT, and, you know, now I, I want to see myself lola pony representing the south american and tell telling of everyone about, uh, yeah, there is bad stuff happening in in south america but basically we are known for being these really happy really um friendly people basically you know and and we are like we have this heat and this uh i don't know there's something inside of us that that it needs to be represented because yeah. because yeah, I just need, I just want that to happen, you know. Like I want to see myself speaking up and 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 sharing the happiness. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I'll be wishing that does happen for you because you really do deserve that. You're such a lovely person and a lovely soul. And yeah, I really do hope you do get your dreams because you deserve that. Thank you, Bebe. Yeah, no, you know, just have to keep it up. Keep on, keep on, keep on. <laughs> Consistency, isn't it? And it's just keep going. Don't stop. You just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a really good job. So do you think you. do you think cultural and age differences have an impact on equality and diversity and inclusion and understanding of the different cultures um there are at the moment? Yeah, I think um there is definitely you know, like as uh woman there is definitely definitely we have like um these barriers because you cannot age you know it's a scene to age in the cultural industries and the before you know in the entertainment industry as a as an as a like older woman you have to be really specific and then you you're on the under the under the you know you're under the eyes of the public and they are yeah. they are usually tougher with women than there are with men okay. and 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 yeah so but there is still a lot of work to do but we we're changing you know i can see for example i don't know madonna there is madonna that she's an example of like like a a a, a woman that 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 uh, made herself a legend obviously you know she has uh, we all have our stuff but she made she was really clever she was really like like just uh like um business she yeah business she woman and, yeah. Time as well didn't she she evolved her image her style her look her sound it always changed and kept up with the times i think that's one thing i've always got from madonna actually yeah and and it's easy you know it's it, it's it's uh not that not as easy for a woman to do that because you have to be constantly changing and then 
uh, if you compare it to, or I don't like to compare, but we have to, right? So if you compare it to like a man, and then you see like these uh, men that they are just don't care about their 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 age, and they, they, people just say, oh, they are just like a like a like a big wise man, and and but woman, oh no, she's just old. She just needs to retire. You know what I mean? Yes. So th that's the thing we need to change. I think it is slowly changing. I think it is it is, and I I really have like I, I hope that that it will change and I, I i think i'm certain that it will change because uh the new generations are uh they don't have that you know like that chip in them so they mm -hmm. uh, they can they can be the change plus we're all we'll all call this out as well like we're all calling this out we're all calling for change yeah. we're all trying to make this a better positive more inclusive industry and that's what i get from everyone i talk to you know so we're all working for the same goals and the same achievements which i think is beautiful as well yeah no it's beautiful and 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 the world is about to adolesce you know we are tired of being told what to do what to think so it's about it there is a positive change coming and i can feel it and yeah. And when it comes, everything will be everything. I think is for the best. So mm -hmm. we just have to 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 make it happen. Because and nothing happens if you just don't do it, right? You just have to do it. That's it. I love that. Thank you, Lola. Thanks so much. Um, my next question to you would be: Have you suffered discrimination or stigma whilst doing your musical career in here in the UK or in Mexico? I think. I think not in UK or in Mexico. In Mexico, it's like, um, well, I did have some, some. I, I always have comments in, I, I think I used to, we were going, when I was with the band, we were going to sign with a, like an independent small label. And then they started to making comments about, they wanted to change me, you know, like my appearance. And I was like, no, <laughs> I just laughed and said well i'm i'm not a model you know yes. i'm an entertainer and a and a comp music composer and yeah. a singer so i'm not uh, i'm not going to change anything and then here i think people expect you sometimes people in other countries expect mexicans to be like i don't know maybe sing really folkloric or stuff and it's like no like i don't even write in spanish i prefer i express myself a little bit better in 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 english and also well in in creativity right mm -hmm. and um oh but i i i do i do like mexican rap you know like i i rap Ooh. in mexican not even spanish i think it's mexican because <laughs> love yeah it. twist it up a little bit right put your own little twist to it i love that yeah yeah so that's there yeah. so that's uh, that's the thing the only thing but but um i don't think i've I've ever experienced like that much discrimination like that that much right. but you know i'm not in the biggest scene let's see when i'm in the big scene you know that's gonna yeah. be different but that's how that's why it's important to surround yourself with your team People, so yeah. you know yeah definitely agree with you on that one well we'll have another interview when you get a little bit further on in your career and let's see and yeah. then we'll hear it again can't we so we can go back to this one and say actually you were so right so let's see how it works out right fingers crossed yeah we'll see how, how it all how it all goes yeah so what kind of major successes and wins have you had to date and have you got anything up and coming projects singles or releases that you'd like to share with everybody all right yeah so um i think I think my wins are just being able to continue on making music and and performing everywhere. Um, I actually I am now in Superstore and I once performed here in Superstore oh, and it was really cool. Yeah. You literally in Dalston? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Dalston right now in Dalston Superstore I, and I perform here and I think that's a big win because I really liked it. I'm five minutes away. Literally, I literally live five minutes around the corner. Watch you. I'll be coming around there in an hour's time or half an hour. Watch you come around and see you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. I didn't know. Well, I'm literally, I'm here now, you know, because I well, didn't have a Wi Fi. It's a nice little place, actually. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? I know exactly where you are on Kingsland Road. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not far. Yeah. Across. Yeah, so that's it. It's a big, you know, and also just for me to be here in London again and um just being able to to perform here and make music here, that's that's a big win. And I am making music now at the moment with um the 
SMSLCX. <laughs> we're making an art experiment and, and um, we're going to release it soon. So my new release is coming around, I don't know, maybe in like a month or maybe a bit, bit more, but it's definitely soon and I can't wait. It's like schizophrenically happy. <laughs> Good luck. I hope it all goes well as well. So if people want to follow you, find you, Lola, where could they go to find you on Instagram, on Facebook or anything else? Where could they find you? Well, I my Instagram is Lola Pony TV. So it's L-O-L-A-P-O-N-Y and TV as in television. And they, that's for Instagram and for Facebook. And on YouTube, I'm on Lola Pony. I'm on Spotify as well. Lola Pony, uh, L-O-L-A. And why? And and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out this afternoon to come and do this with me. And I'm hoping you all the best for your new work that's coming out, your immersive stuff, your singles, your releases, and all the stuff that you're doing because you're such a great soul. And I really do appreciate your time and for you to just share your views and vision with us. So thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. You're amazing too. And and um I'm I'm just I'm just happy, happy that, that you invited me today. Thank you. There's no no worries at all. And we'll speak again soon. All right, let's speak soon. Thanks, Lola. Bye. Bye.